hello hello welcome back to another tech video in this video we're going shopping now if you're new here and haven't followed this facebook page or subscribed to our youtube channel don't forget to tap the follow button on facebook and or the subscribe button on our youtube channel to see more mcpa content we bring you interesting tech videos every wednesday and friday at one for any of the apps that we cover in our shopping apps series Keep in mind that there will be personal information that you'll have to provide to complete a purchase. Almost all of these brands will ask for a shipping address, billing address, and financial information, be it your credit, debit, or PayPal account information. If giving your personal information to an app concerns you, then I'd find other avenues for shopping online. So far in our shopping series, we've taken a look at the eBay app, Etsy, Mercari, AliExpress, Target, Walmart, and Shein. Today, we're gonna to talk about Amazon. Keep an eye out for our last video about the popular shopping art app, Society6. So let's get started. At Amazon, you can enjoy low prices and great deals on the largest selection of everyday essentials and other products, including fashion, home, beauty, electronics, Alexa devices, sporting goods, toys, automotive, pets, baby books, video games, musical instruments, office supplies, and more. Welcome to Amazon. So the Amazon app opens to the home screen, which is a space to find your next best thing. Across the top of the screen is your search bar, where you can type in literally anything that you're looking for. Below the search will be filter buttons for Alexa list, Prime, video, and music. If you're on a mobile app, you'll see a few more options here, such as Whole Foods, Pharmacy, and in-store code. Then at the very bottom of the screen will be your toolbar, where you can switch between the home view, your account, cart, and menu. In your account, this is where you can track your orders, keep track of your wish lists, manage your orders, check your account settings, check your payment methods, read any messages, and other personalized content, and even at the bottom, check your gift card balance or visit the buy again section to buy items that you've purchased previously. Next to your account is your cart. Here you can see what you've chosen to buy or what you still need to buy, buy previous items again, or tap the continue shopping button to pick up where you left off to go find more to buy. Below that, you'll even see some options for deals and magazine subscriptions, customers who have bought items that kind of match what you've been looking for that you can scroll through here and immediately add to your cart or tap on that item to go to its detail page. Or you can tap the continue shopping button right above your toolbar. To the right of your cart will be your menu. This is where you can browse through different categories and check out the other services that Amazon provides. This would be a good place to start if you aren't looking for anything in particular and just want to take a look around. At the bottom, you'll see credit card payments, make money with Amazon by becoming a seller, check out delivery services, sustainability options, and then look at your stuff. You also see your settings and then the customer service links. Then you'll see right above the toolbar, orders, buy again, account, and list. So that way you don't have to return back to the other tabs to get to those options. Now, when you're ready to shop for something specific, you can choose a category from here or tap in the search bar in the top of your screen where it says search Amazon and type in something for a keyword, or you can return to the home tab to check out the deals of the day, keep shopping for what you were shopping for, or check out any of the highlights that Amazon is promoting for that day. If we go to the top, we're gonna search so I have a previous search here that you can check out whenever you have a search that you want to return to. You can just tap it in the suggestions or you can remove it by tapping the X to the left of the option. I'm going to leave that there in case I want to return to that same search later. And what I'm going to type here now is, as you start typing in keywords, you'll get some suggestions. What I can do here is look through here to see if there's anything that I want to check out but I don't, so I'm gonna tap search. This is a very vague keyword search, but it's an option. Um, if you need to filter your list down further, you can tap filters on the right-hand side of your screen. And from here, you'll get options to 
Here you can specify what you want to sort by, either by shipping options, prime programs, categories, brands, price, and so forth. So what I can do here is sort by movies and films that mention pets in Blu-ray. And in the genre, I want kids and family. And then a for customer views, if I want something that's pretty good, I'm going to choose four stars and up because why would I choose anything else? And then I want to sort it right now by every, let's do newest arrivals. And then on the bottom right hand corner, it'll show me how many results I have left after all of those filters. I can choose show me 50 results. Now, when you find an item that you're interested in, you can see some information before going to its detail page. There's a picture of the item a descriptive title, the price, some shipping information, and sometimes you'll get a sponsored tag letting you know that Amazon's promoting that item for the seller so it'll reach more potential buyers. And then you may even see some items flagged with a best seller tag to promote their popularity. Or you'll see some that says Amazon's choice, which just means it's backed by Amazon. So if we wanna view more information about a specific item, what you'll do is you'll tap on it an items detail page is where you can get the most information about the product. So if it's new, if it has any used versions that you can buy for cheaper, when it would deliver to you if you bought it right now, whether it's in stock, where it's shipping from, and so on. You can even view more photos of the item if it's something that has like a front and back and they added more photos to it. Here we'll just see the Blu-ray case for the item. And then in the center, you can read the description and choose any modifiers you need to choose. So if I don't want the 4K version and I want the Blu-ray version, I could tap that and it'll take me to the detail list for the Blu-ray version, which is a lot cheaper. If you continue to scroll down, you'll see even more information. Quantity, I can add it to my cart, buy it now. Where it's shipping from is Amazon.com because it's sold by Amazon.com. And then I can see any other sellers that may be selling the same item for probably cheaper or for less shipping. Anything that I want to buy together with it. So it's suggesting something that might go good with this movie, the Sonic movie. And then anything else that customers who have looked at this, what they have bought, and then any products related to that item that I'm looking at. And if you continue scrolling, you'll continue to see more information about the item as much information as Amazon was able to get a hold of. So you'll see product description, product details. So this will tell you the director, subtitles, language, customer reviews, any videos. Sometimes users that make reviews about it will upload videos with the item. And then some more ads. Now if we go back to the top, now if you're sold on an item and want to buy it, how you'll do so will depend on the purchasing options available. So some items can be add to cart, as you'll see here. This is where you'll buy it at the price that's listed and also pay for the shipping once you get to the purchasing screen. When you're ready, you'll check out with your multiple items all in one go. You're in no obligation to buy the items you've added to your shopping cart. Items in your cart can still be bought by other members until you've completed your checkout. Some items do run low in stock or are out of stock, so you'll have to wait for them to be back in stock until you can buy them again if you have not purchased them in your cart. Some items will also show as buy it now. This is a fixed price for the buy it now listing. You'll pay the exact price for it and it'll complete your purchase immediately without having to wait while it's in your cart. And then you'll also see an option for adding to list so if you want to add this item to your Amazon wish list, this is something you can do as you're browsing. And then if you find something that kind of piques your interest, but you're not ready to purchase it yet, you can add it to a list. If you have more than one list, you'll want to tap the drop down, create your new list or choose from your group of lists to make sure it goes to the right one. So if you have a movies I want to buy list, you would add it to that. Or a wish list or a gift list. You can have all of those lists there and do it that way. 
Now to read any of the reviews for the item before you purchase it, you can access that in a few ways. You'll see your stars listing for the item, so the rating. And then to the right, you'll see how many reviews and ratings this particular item has. You can tap on the rating from there, or if you're already halfway down the page, you'll run into ratings again underneath customer reviews, right above videos. This might be in a different place depending on the type of item that you're looking at. Either way, you'll tap on the hyperlink. It'll take you straight to the section for customer reviews. And you'll see that this has a 4.6 out of 5. And then you'll see a list of images from buyers, if applicable. You'll see some tags that mention certain keywords. So if you are curious about the special effects in the movie and any reviews that mention that, You'll just tap on special effects and it'll filter those reviews that mention special effects. If you just want to read them as you go, just continue scrolling and you can read the reviews from there to make your decision. And if you're like, yes, I want this item, you'll tap the add to cart on the right hand side or go back to top to choose the buy it now. So I'm going to add this item to my cart. Now, if you're ready to buy the item, you can go ahead and buy it from here. Or if you're ready to go back to shopping, you can scroll down and look at what's being suggested or start a new search. So if I wanna add anything else to my cart, I can just add them to my cart, go to there. And once you have everything that you want, you can tap proceed to checkout to complete your order. If you're prompted, you'll want to sign in. If you're not already signed into your Amazon account, then you'll add in your address and any information about where you need the item to be shipped to. There we go, you'll enter your shipping address and then it'll take you to your payment method screen. So when you get to the payment method screen, amazon.com accepts a variety of payment options, including debit or credit cards. You can even split a purchase between an Amazon gift card and a debit or credit card but not between two debit or credit cards. Now, after you've reviewed your items in your shopping cart and you're ready to complete your order, if there's more than one item in your order, you'll have the option to group your items into as few shipments as possible or to ship the items as they become available as an extra cost. What you'll do then is continue to follow the prompts for your payment information and then review your order details. And then you'll select place order. And then congratulations, you've made a purchase from amazon.com. To review or change your order before it enters the shipping process, you can go to your orders tab in your account to get to that. You'll tap on your account icon in your toolbar. There will be a section for orders. And then you can look at your orders from there. It'll keep track of everything that you've purchased and how much you paid for them. So that is Amazon. So whether you're interested in buying outdoor cameras, loungewear, a microwave, or a new pair of shoes, you'll find everything that you're looking for on amazon.com. See you next time for our last shopping app. And we wanna thank you for watching. Follow us to find more videos just like this. Our page on Facebook is MCPL360, and if you miss us on Facebook, you'll still find these same videos on our YouTube channel at MCPLMO. Find our consumer technology playlist. Have a good day.